Hello everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Cat Simulator. And we are back with coffee beans and nutmeg. And oh my gosh, their kit is going to be born any minute now. And last time we left off, nutmeg went out hopefully to go search for those golden eggs to bring to his mate so she would have something awesome to eat right before she has her kitten. But then I actually ended up getting nutmeg accidentally killed from a snake, a danger noodle who was very venomous, ended up taking him out. And I was totally conflicted on what to do. Should I go ahead and release nutmeg? because he died and we should have him like permadeath? Should I go ahead and roll a dice to see if he survived like we do with our foxes in the ultimate fox simulator let's play? Or should I go ahead and just ignore the fact he died and keep going? And then it hit me, these are cats! So I decided instead of having to roll a dice, I will just give each cat nine lives. Um, Not like don't get into warriors lore, mind you, you guys. I'm not saying they're, they're leaders or anything like that, but I'll give each cat nine lives and when they use those nine lives up, but that's when they will be released, which gives Coffee Bean and Nutmeg both eight lives still to use. So Coffee Bean is going to stay here. She's going to stay in the home and hopefully get ready for the seven minutes to pass when we will have the kit be born. And then Nutmeg is going to leave the house once more. Oh my gosh, are those children? Oh no, there's not children. They're just, they're just a bunch of people having like a random office meeting out in the street sideways. That's beautiful. I love it. That's absolutely beautiful. But Nutmeg is going to leave the home once more and this time he's actually going to focus on trying to find the eggs that he wants to bring his mate because he remembers rumors from when he used to live in a clan that those eggs are supposed to be very, very good for when you are getting ready to have kits. So we're going to see if we can try to find them. A lot of you guys are saying that there's something underground over here. I'm just not sure. Because apparently we should be like right on top of the eggs. So I'm going to try maybe going all the way over to the beach and kind of searching around here because maybe there is a secret underground cavern I just don't know about. So we're going to look for the golden eggs until the kit is born today and try to get Nutmeg leveled up. But I'm really relieved that I decided not to actually have him die because I really, really like this guy. I really do. He's just such a sweetie. And I just love coffee beans and Nutmeg. They've grown together as a couple to me. I can't wait to have them in a sim. 3 stray cat challenge that's going to be really really fun to do together with you guys and I don't want to see him die so giving him eight more lives to risk before he finishes his adventures and his story with us makes me feel a lot better let's see is there any food over here he just keeps pointing into the other direction and I really need him to find food over here. I really need him to be able to find prey over here or at least guide me to where the heck these eggs are hiding. So let's go ahead and see. On the map, there should be some eggs kind of in this direction. So let's just head this way. We'll also see if we can find any food so Nutmeg can go ahead and eat some of it and bring back some to his mate. He's actually getting pretty hungry. So it's going to be really important to actually find some food soon. I can't wait until I can upgrade their skills so that they've got the ability to see like where food is on the radar uh, on top of using like that little, that little tracking skill for it too. And also Nutmeg gets a little bit exhausted faster, I've noticed. But he probably just needs a little more stamina. All right, so onward we go, hunting for the golden eggs. Wait, is that a golden egg? Is that a golden egg? No, it's a stick. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Dang it. It's a stick. It's not a golden egg. I don't see any golden eggs anywhere. Um, Come on, Nutmeg. All right, if I keep moving this way, then hopefully we'll find some. And I think where Coffee Beans really enjoys being in the tight cities and really enjoys being able to fight against the dogs and kind of teach the dogs who's boss in their neighborhoods, um, I think Nutmeg actually really loves being out in the open Central Park. He enjoyed being in the wild and he was able to be really healthy in the wild uh, and show Nutmeg, or excuse me, show Coffee Beans. <laughs> Why do I always get them mixed up? Show her how to be super healthy and she got really strong from living in the wild with him for a little while. Oh my gosh, and he's so slow. <laughs> he's so slow! Oh, if only we could catch up to this raccoon and it's like taunting us and it has that big fluffy tail and Nutmeg loves chasing things with big fluffy tails. All right, let's see. Can I get it now? What about now? All right, come on. You need to be just a little faster, Nutmeg, my dear. Because you're not really able to reach it, are you? Nope, I don't think we're going to have this happen, guys. Let's try this duck. <laughs> duck, hold still. I need to eat. I seriously need to eat. Oh, geez, why are you so strong? You're a duck. You're just a duck. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, and now Nutmeg finally has something to eat, just a teensy bit, so he can start getting his stamina and everything else back up. And what's this? Is that another cat? 
is that another really interesting looking cat? Like with the mink's tail and everything? He is! What? Nutmeg! Who is this stranger? What are we gonna do about it? I don't know what I think about this stranger, huh? Huh. Alright, well we're gonna have to just leave him be and let's see. Cause he's not fighting us. And the baby is gonna be born anytime, but I'm just not finding any of these eggs we're supposed to find. Maybe they are all underground? Because there's where you can get into the sewers. And now it's so dark I can hardly see a thing. I'll switch to night vision. Um, I should be right on top of them, like right here apparently. Can they go in the water? Is there like the sparkle of gold in the water? Hmm, I wish I could like cancel the quest. <laughs> and where to go? And just be like, no, you aren't working, go away quest. Oh dear, all I did was hiss at the water. He, he fully hissed at the water too, that was pretty hilarious. Uh, all right, so I don't know where those eggs are, you guys, but I'm just not having any luck finding them. So I'm gonna send him back home. We might just have to wait until I can somehow cancel that quest because it won't go away and it is not helping us out with actually having any of the eggs show up unless I am just blind as a bat and I need to go back into the sewers and just run around like in the deep sewers maybe? But our baby is gonna be born pretty soon. Hmm, the path is broken here. Interesting. And there's no bridge or anything. Sorry, Nutmeg, you gotta get a little bit wet. And our, yeah, our kit is gonna be born very soon, so I want Nutmeg to be back home for that. But the fact that he's not a very good hunter, I sent him out on his own to try to spend the day leveling up and bring back food for, for coffee beans, and he's hardly done any of that, <laughs> is probably an indicator of a why he now lives kind of in a two legs house and eats from their food instead. So it looks like there's a couple dogs over here. Maybe we can come over here and try to beat up the dogs near our house. Again, we're not eating them. We just need the experience. So we'll beat them up. They look like greyhounds? All right. All right, hang in there, little guy. Oh no, I'm gonna have to run. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. We take it back. Oh, fooey. Oh boy. We committed to this. <laughs> All right, keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, Nutmeg, why aren't you stronger? But that's okay. This will this will help you grow. Don't die again. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, we did it. All right, so Nutmeg is helping to defend the territory that he wants to establish as his own. And in the distance, you guys can't see it very well. There's a car dragging across the top of that fence. And I thought it was hilarious because some of you guys were saying it's like Harry Potter. Like this is actually where a whole bunch of wizards live trying to pretend that they're muggles. And I thought that was hilarious with the way the cars are flying all over the place. <laughs> and that would explain why everybody walks around so oddly. I loved it. That was really fun. All right, well, I think that Nutmeg is a little bit disappointed with his skills today. He wasn't really, look, look, look. Oh my gosh, it's another flying car. I wonder if we're actually this woman's like familiar? Like her feline familiar instead of just stray cats that moved in. Maybe that's why she wants cats around. That would explain why there's so many owls all over the place. We're in the the fake wizard community like they're trying to pretend to be muggles. That's so funny. Oh my gosh Okay, so that gives me some ideas on what I want to do when we are actually um When we are actually in Sims 3 Maybe we'll just have like the one sim that we are required to have to keep cats around Maybe we'll have them be a witch because that's pretty funny and that woman has not moved for ages <gasps> The kit is ready! The kit is ready! So let's swatch over to swatch swap over to coffee beans and we're gonna have the kit born now, you guys. Are you guys ready? Whew. Okay. Let's go ahead and have it have it be night. Hopefully, crossing my fingers, that doesn't reset like the time we have to wait for the birth or anything like that. Now it's gonna be daytime. Don't mind the random meat in the hallway. I was trying to get uh, coffee beans fed. And now we're gonna zoom in on coffee beans. We're gonna go inside the bat or the bedroom, because we need to jump up on the bed. There we go. All right, you guys ready for this? You guys ready? We're gonna go ahead and we are gonna welcome in a little baby kit into the family. So I'm very excited for this. Whew. And birth time. <gasps> Nutmeg, why are you the one who's having the baby? Ah, it's so cute. <laughs> we have a baby. Oh my gosh, we have a kitten. We have a kitten. We have a kitten. We have a kitten. Oh my gosh, we have a kitten. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's get a good look at it. I have to name it. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? It has a quest for us. What's this? Oh my gosh, little one. 
We have a baby! We have a little baby Kate! Come look at us, little one! What do you want? Uh, caring for your family. You've really shown your skills from defeating the Doberman. That's so funny. Oh, look at it play with us. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's tiny and it's kind of like stepped sideways. And I have no idea where it's running, but it's so cute. And it, I think I have a cat named Cloud. So this is really ironic that we actually have a little gray kitten. I thought it was supposed to look like the parents, but this is adorable too. Named Cloud. And we are actually going to rename this little one. Hi, baby. As soon as I figure out, let me go ahead and see. So is it a boy or girl? I need to see. Yeah, it's a boy. I, I changed it and then I tried to look to see what the original size was. So this is a little boy and we are going to rename it after some of the things that you guys have chosen. And actually Catherine Park a few episodes ago came up with some really, really great list of names. And I was keeping an eye on that list because they really fit so well for the ideas that I wanted to name. So we're actually going to name uh, this little one. And I think... Um, I'm looking over the list of names because a lot of them are like coffee related and I really love it. And I think we're going to go ahead and name him. And there's also a whole bunch of great suggestions. I'm going to name him Tuna actually. And you guys are going to go, Siri, what? That's not related to coffee whatsoever. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to name him Tuna because we're going to say he takes after coffee beans. <laughs> Getting names for one of the first things that you would see in a dumpster. So that's why we have this kitten now named Tuna. Because I was going to go with Mocha and I was actually going to go with Latte. Uh, was going to be, Latte was going to be the name of like the kitten as soon as it was born. But Tuna looks like a tuna to me because it's gray and not so much a latte so that's why we went with that name <laughs> but there he goes oh my gosh he's so cute and so tiny nutmeg what do you think of your son where have you gone you're out in the backyard why who knows why why are there cats just coffee beans why did you jump through why did you just jump through the wall oh my gosh i don't know why she jumped through the wall but she needs to bring back um she needs to bring back some food so that we can take care of the little kitten. It's just a teensy itty bitty little guy. I'm really worried about making sure that he, he takes care of himself and we're gonna have to keep him at the home. I'm gonna put him back in the home so that he can go ahead and get all of the food from the human and hopefully he can like level up from the food that there is here. So come on, come on little one, come on tuna. I like it, tuna, after tuna fish. And then we will, wow, he can really jump. <laughs> We'll go ahead and feed him so he can gain some of his experience. There you go, little guy. There you go. And then we'll have him... They're, they're eating like the prey that they've caught before. We'll have him snuggle with his mom. Come over here and snuggle with his dad. Oh my gosh, you're so cute, little one. I love you. And then we'll come over. What is this on the ground? Are those some treats we can eat? Oh, we can eat the treats! That's so cool! So we can come down... And little Tuna can actually start leveling up. Look at him go! All right, Tuna. So let's see. And what does he have to work with? No skills just yet. But he will stay a little kitten for quite a while. And let's see. What is it like when you... Ah, he can play with toys. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. So the human is going to like drop different foods. And she's going to drop treats on the ground. And then we can come over and eat the treats. That's so adorable. Can we get pets? Oh my gosh. So yeah, I think Tuna is going to be totally fine with this owner. And not really think it's a big deal. While Coffee Beans, meanwhile, is like, I have to go and defeat all of the dogs. All of the dogs out there in the world. And then we'll go ahead and feed him a little more. I wonder how often the human fills up this food. Because it makes being a house cat really easy. But we'll have to see what kind of adventures Tuna gets up to, especially if I am able to finally release them from this egg quest. I think next time we may try raising Tuna. We're going to have him snuggle with his mom a little bit more. We'll try raising him and we definitely will probably have his mom and dad go and check out the uh, sewers and see if those eggs are like hiding in the deep, deep sewers. Maybe I've not investigated the sewers enough. I need to like follow them and see how far they go because I'm going straight up a wall trying to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to do. Right, let's level him up again. Yay! Leveled up because of mom and dad. That's so cute. Now he's already level three and I'm going to add a little bit more to his... Uh, to his vitality to make him a little healthier and kind of 
beefier that way. So, all right, tuna, tuna fish for like his full name can be tuna fish. Uh, short, his name for short is tuna. Apparently we've accepted 800 different golden egg missions. What just happened? I have no idea what's going on with these golden eggs anymore. So we'll try to take on a golden egg omelet next time, you guys, because this is a little bit amazing. I'll have to see if that's still there when we come back. But all right. And you know what? Maybe one of the names Catherine actually suggested was eggnog. Um, and I thought that was adorable, like something you might find in a dumpster after Christmas, per se. But if we manage to finish all of this, then we definitely need to name one of the next kits eggnog because this is this is amazing. So I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.